Hi, I'm Alex Margavichis. I'm the commissioner of the Cleveland Division of Water. Um, they're usually large steel bowls, anywhere from 300,000 to 3 million gallons of water. Uh, and they're elevated up in the air. They may sit on legs or on a pedestal. Um, we usually select uh, high elevation spots within our pressure districts to site them. Um, and they are facilities that the Division of Water owns. Whether you see them in Beechwood or North Olmstead or wherever, these are structures that the Division of Water owns. Water Tower does a couple things for us. Um, primarily, it evens out the load, if you will. It balances pressures. Um, without storage, you'd have a uh, locked system or a closed system, and it would be susceptible to pressure spikes or swings. A uh, tower allows the pressure to be very even throughout the day. Um, it allows us to balance peak loads, especially during the mornings and evening hours when there are peaks in the system. Uh, the water tower helps reduce the demand that would be on the pump stations, otherwise feeding a district, and balance them out. Uh, elevation and topography is extremely critical in siting water storage. The top of the water elevation in a storage facility needs to be just right to make sure that adequate pressure is delivered everywhere in the districts that we serve. We generally like to put water storage towers at the highest point within a district, and oftentimes that will then require them to be 120 feet up into the air. Um, but uh, if we have to move it a little bit, then that will require that the legs or the pedestal be a bit, little bit longer. Um, but it is for delivering adequate pressure that we cite them where we do.